Hello everyone, my name is Jean Maria. In this video, I will be discussing microbes and bacteria, the tiny creatures that you either love or hate. The book that I'm holding in my hands, I Contain Multitude, has answers to all your questions about microbes and bacteria. Now, the book was written in 2016, it was published in 2016, by Ed Young, and it is a perfect example of a non-fiction work that makes science, biology in particular, interesting, understandable, and available to masses. It investigates lots of different questions. Any questions that you may have, such as, are bacteria good or bad? Why and how did we turn out the way we are? Evolution. And others are answered in this book. Just a reminder, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel down below and check out my blog, readamaria.com. Thank you. Let's talk about the author first, though, to understand who he is and what he does for a living. Ed Young is an award-winning, best-selling science writer. He is best known for this book, I Contain Multitudes. Young's works appeared in many famous magazines such as National Geographic, The New Yorker, Nature, The Guardian, The Wired, and others. He lives in Washington, D.C. and in London. I hope that gave you a better understanding of who Ed Young is. And now, let's dive into the topic of this video. I Contain Multitudes is a book that explores a bigger view of everything, of all life. It is called that way because you, the person behind the screen, and I contain multitudes of multitudes of different bacteria and microbes inside of us. These microbes do all of the work. We are the hosts and they are the employees, I suppose. We live in a symbiosis. Until comparatively recently, 1674 to be exact, we couldn't see any of those little helpers. When they came into biology, we didn't see them as very important creatures. On the opposite, people saw them as germs that needed to be destroyed, or otherwise they would destroy us. This confusion only cleared up a few centuries later, when it became clear that there are no good or bad bacteria. Microbes that cause disease in animals may be beneficial to humans and vice versa. The idea that all bacteria is bad is simply wrong. Those tiny organisms are a huge part of us and our lives. They make up our organisms, tissues. They defend us, they educate our immune system and they do basically all the work. But they can also rebel in the form of cancer and diseases. So sure, they aren't excellent but they definitely shouldn't be destroyed. There are several interesting, well-researched topics in this book that discuss various aspects of the bacteria. I advise you to read all of them, then come back to this video and comment your opinions and share them with everyone else. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and bye!